As you know, uh, the Trump administration has brought in measures, uh, bans with travel and immigration. Canadians, we've heard, uh, reject any ban that is based on race, religion, or place of birth. There is no question that this ban promotes hate and intolerance. This ban will have a disastrous effect for thousands of innocent travelers and refugees. Women, children who are fleeing persecution are not going to be able to find the safe havens that they deserve. It will have serious negative impacts on the North American economy as well as academic and cultural development. The NDP is unequivocally, unequivocally condemns this ban. Canada must step up to do its part. We support the government's initiative move, the initial move to provide temporary resident permits to those who intended to return to the U.S. but can no longer do so due to the ban. But there is much more that Canada can do and must do. To that end, the NDP proposes the government should undertake the following initiatives. As mentioned yesterday, we have already called on the government to lift the 1,000 application cap on privately sponsored refugees that was reached within one month. We're now also calling on for the government to fast track refugee applications in the United States that were approved before the ban or whose U.S. applications were near completion. We're calling on the government to work with global communities to address the shortfall in refugee resettlement. As well, we want to see an immediate action on this, and that is for the government to immediately suspend the safe third country agreement with the United States, as we can no longer have confidence that refugees are welcome there. Last but not least, we're calling on the government to secure greater assurances from those traveling from Canada into the United States who are concerned about crossing the border.